Today we're going to talk about what information do you need to know to find the dimensions of a figure, figure that is similar to another figure. Okay? So I'd like to have three volunteers come up to the front. Kimberly, Ben, and Megan. Kimberly, I'm going to give you point A. Okay. If you can stand back over here. Okay. And Ben, I would like for you to walk 10 paces from Kimberly parallel with the wall. So starting over there, walk 10 paces. Excellent. Okay. And Megan, I would like for you to, starting at point A, I would like for you to walk six paces perpendicular to segment AB. Okay. And then I'm going to string you guys together here. So you hold on to this. We're going to wrap you around. Hang on, we're getting... And I'd like to know, what did we actually form? What is this? What is this? Cassie. It's a triangle. Okay. If Megan is perpendicular to segment AB, what kind of triangle is this? It's a right triangle. Excellent. I'd like to get three more volunteers. You guys stay here. Three more volunteers. Okay. Let me have Madison and Akela and Michaela. I'd like for you to be point D, point E, and point F. And I would like for the three of you to construct a triangle, another right triangle similar to triangle A, B, C. So you can go ahead and you can do that right here. Let's have point D stand right here, okay? And I want point E, I want DE to be parallel again to the wall and similar to A, B, okay? So I want you to walk out that many spaces to be similar. Okay, and I want you, now how many spaces did you walk? Five. Five spaces she walked, okay? So if she walked five spaces and AB was originally 10, right? And AC was originally six, how many spaces would Michaela have to walk perpendicular to DE if we wanted this to be similar? How many spaces? Asia. Three steps. Three steps. Go ahead. Okay. Let me string you guys together also. So you hold on to this. Okay. Whoops. All right. So what do we have now? We have a right triangle. How do we know that these two figures are similar to one another? Chaz? Because they cut the scale in half, so they took half the steps on each one. Okay. So they cut the scale of the lengths of the first triangle in half. All right. How else do we know that they would be similar? What have we already talked about previously in here about similar? They are proportional. What have we discussed previously that would help us explain if these two are similar? Katie? They're both right triangles, meaning they're the same uh, shape. Okay, they're both right triangles, so they're the same shape. We also know that when two figures are similar, their corresponding side lengths are proportional. So now let's go ahead and let's look at uh, activity one, part A on page 206. And what you see here is a red rectangle and a blue rectangle. So first of all, can someone tell me what is the length of the red rectangle on page 206? The length is six. Okay. And what's the width of the red rectangle? Um, the width is three. Okay, and the width is three. Can someone tell me what is the length and width of the blue rectangle? The length is 12 and the width is um, six. The length is 12 and the width is six. So are these two rectangles similar? Uh, yes, I believe they're similar. Okay. Can you explain why? Um, because they have the same shape, but
but they are different sizes. The two widths are uh, proportional and same with the two lengths. Excellent. The, the widths and lengths are both proportional to one another. Excellent. So I'd like for you to see if you can draw a different rectangle that is similar to the red one. You can draw one like that, laying on its side maybe. Which one is your red one? This is my red one. Okay, so just go ahead and label that for us because that will help us out. Excellent. Can we do one or Can we do that because they're still proportional, it's just smaller instead of being bigger. Okay. All right, so you're going to be out. Okay. Can someone share with us what they ended up drawing, what rectangle they drew that they feel is similar to the original red one? Well, we just drew a one and a half by three because it's the half the size of the three by six one. Okay. So they drew one that was similar because they kept the proportions similar. Okay. They kept the width still half of what the length was. Excellent. Can someone else show what they've gone ahead and drawn? Four by eight instead of two by four. We did the same size. We just flipped it so it was the other way. Okay. Can someone help her out? What does she mean by she flipped it? She changed it to three by six instead of six by three. So in other words, the original red rectangle, you had three by six. And then what I see here you did is you went ahead and you sort of like laid it down on its side, right? Okay. Is that still similar? Is it the same shape? Okay. Is it a different size? No. But are those side lengths, as you told me earlier, are they still proportional to one another? Are the ratios of each of those side lengths still proportional? Yes? yes. OK. So what we were talking about then is what information do you need to know to find the dimensions of a figure if we want it to be similar to another figure? You have to know the lengths of the corresponding sides. Excellent. How do we know? Why do we agree with that? Alex. Because a similar figure doesn't mean that, it just means that it has the same shape, but it's a different size. All we had to do is find the measure of the corresponding sides. Excellent job.